Most of my ancestors, the native people of the Northwest Coast, have always depended on the forest, especially the western red cedar tree. Elaborate ceremonial dance masks were hand carved from cedar. Cedar trees provided us with clothing, transportation, cooking, and storage utensils, as well as the very houses we lived in. For at least 50,000 years, the cedar tree supplied many of our basic needs. Because of this, it was surprising that there were still so many trees here at the time of the arrival of the Europeans. One of the primary reasons trees were able to survive is because they were revered so well by Native Americans. When stripping cedar bark from trees, for example, Native people took care to strip it from only one side, not the entire tree, and to use only what was needed. Today, many Native people still cherish a respect for all living things, believing that everything has a spirit. This worldview made it possible to live more in harmony with the earth without upsetting nature's delicate balance. Maintaining this delicate balance is important to the many mammals, birds, and fish who make the forest their home. The very survival of a salmon depends on a constant cool water temperature, and that in turn depends in part on the shade from trees along the riverbanks. By taking care of the trees and the water, we also take care of the salmon. Centuries ago, the earlier explorers noted the great importance that Native Americans placed on salmon. They noted that each spring when the first salmon would return to the rivers from the ocean, a ceremony would be held to celebrate that return. That ceremony was called the First Salmon Ceremony, and it is still being done today by many tribes as a way of celebrating and honoring the salmon. Cedar continues to play a vital role in the lives of Native Americans. Wherever there are fun and festivities, you will see cedar. Many artists are creating modern-day artworks using traditional designs. Today, many people think that if we viewed the Earth as a sacred place, it will help ensure that it will be around for future generations to enjoy and use. As Black Elk, a Lakota elder, said, the first piece, which is the most important, is that which comes within the souls of people when they realize their relationships, their oneness with the universe and all its powers.